Hello everybody, welcome to the IMTK Talk Show, it's 13th of February and we are in the midst of watching the first leg game between Juve and Tottenham in Turin and it is currently 2-1 and it's been great. There's no point recapping it because by the time the show airs everyone will know what's going on but we will still be reacting to the second half because the lads here are facing the television. Absolutely. Um, how are you doing everyone? Good. Yeah. People, are gonna think that, uh, people are going to think that people are going to think that Carabag thing is a drop. Like I've got a, a soundboard that I'm hitting randomly. Uh, do it live. You do it well live every time, don't I'm you? Big fan of it. Can you do it do right you now under pressure? Same time. Carabag. Um, close. Maybe. Yeah, we should do it when we're just in the middle of the talk and just drop a Carabag. He, he does. Trust me. I, I do. Trust me. They, they I've got the headphones. I, I hear these little sneaky comments that are coming in all the time from John. I think you're breathing heavily, sir, as they would say to uh, Mr. Oliver Reed. Honestly, we, we've been doing the show, what's <laughs> it, like four years now? and uh, Don't. Really? I think so. No, nah, it is, and, yeah. And uh, I don't talk in the mic when I'm talking, yet when I'm not talking, I breathe too heavily into the mic. So. No, I don't. No, you never breathe I think heavily. You, when you're talking, you like, put the, the phone, microphone away from you, yeah. and when you're breathing, you bring it close. Yeah. You're like Homer at the top, the top of church, <laughs> I'm sorry, Flanders. Also breathe through your goddamn mouth! Also, when you use the um, when you use the harmonica for our quizzes, you definitely make sure to do that straight into the microphone. I do. Not that I've gotten complaints about it or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, someone listens to the show. No, of course not. <laughs> have you got a quiz today, have we? Yeah, yeah I have one. Right. Sort of. Good. We'll start off with uh, the news. Bit of Premier League recap. Dan has written a topic for us to discuss that we didn't give us a heads up on. So, <laughs> not that I didn't give you the script ten minutes ago to read. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little busy. I was a little busy. Oh, I, ha I have my. Uh, in future, I know. in future, give I us, give us like three to four hours to mull over a topic. Well, the best player in the league plays outside the top six. Okay, we're, we're, do you want to get into it right now? Let's just do it right okay, now. Okay, right. So okay. the topic is who's the best player outside the top six teams this season? No question, Ternautovic. No, it's not. This it he's the best. John, John was sending me <laughs> pictures and tweets of him the other day. Oh, like John, I thought he was kind of little crush on Ternautovic. He's we? so good. I, like I liked him when he was Balotelli's best mate. No, he just wasn't, he wasn't, wasn't famous. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. When he when he was terrible. Did he win a Champions League? Did he get a medal? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. He signed, he was on the bench with Balotelli, I think. Yeah. And then uh, he signed for Stoke, and every once in a while he'd uh, score a cracker. This he, is true. He, yeah, he was Shakiri before Shakiri arrived at Stoke, and now he's at West Ham. And <laughs> David David Moyes puts him as like a number ten or a front, so where he can't do any damage yeah, 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 in the yeah, field. Yeah. And he, he's uh, he's something else. He's he's not bad. I'd say uh, Richarlison, probably. Really? He's he's, he's yeah. kind of bits. But down. No, see if Shut I. Your, your friend Mares now. If I time to think about this, my friend Mares. Um, you hated him. For okay. For this is a very obvious answer. The best player who's not in the top six is Jamie Vardy. Chris Wood. And it's because of his record against the big clubs over the last two years, which no one has. He, he had a record where he scored against. Is it this season alone? He scored against the top six and no one else has done that. Yeah, he's, he's got a very good record against Yeah, so there you go. There's your answer. But not Mares. Player of the season. Two years ago. Wanted for. What? Man City wanted to buy him? Because no one needs Jamie Vardy the way they think they do. Mara's like makes sense to a lot of people because you know Vardy would get a move. Vardy would get a Vardy get a move to any team. I'm surprised no, Arsenal didn't go. Yeah, yeah, he would. He would. Well, of course he would. Arsenal went uh, went for him a couple of years Arsenal, ago. Arsenal, he, 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 if well, they've got two strikers now, so not now, but they could have got him in the last few years. Oh, Spurs, 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 Spurs would take him as a backup to Kane. He, yeah, but he's not. Liverpool would take him as a backup. Well, uh, Spurs wouldn't because Spurs have a bracket of how they pay people and I'd imagine that Jamie Vardy's on more than Harry well you, I'm just saying in theory he's w he's well good enough theory, for Spurs yeah, so and he, that's he what I'm saying but yeah but the thing is he's not going to fit in anywhere because he's not going to want to be a backup even at his age because he's, he's still so good he's the type of centre forward the top four don't really have anymore you know what I mean like Lukaku was sort of that but he's not really fitting well in Mourinho so maybe like but I don't know why we're talking about a player who's definitely going to say it lesser the rest of his life. The answer is Jamie Vardy, surely. The Until Mahrez. he wins the World Cup. No, man. Look at Vardy's stats over the last two seasons. Look at Mahrez. Mahrez like, is one of those yeah, guys. Yeah, Mahrez is a better player. Can you tell you what Mahrez is? Mahrez is a guy in 20 60 years. 60 million to City. When they ask who won player of the year in blah, 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 blah in 20 years' time and people go, Riyad Mahrez. People are like, oh, yeah, him. It's Vardy. It's because Vardy's a fucking racist and everything. Like, <laughs> what does that? No, that's a bad thing. That means I know he's, he's just more player. noticeable. No, it's Jamie Vardy. When you score a pro evo with okay. him. Jamie Vardy's having a party. If you want to talk about noticeable, then the most famous player in the league is Deli Ali. Um, he's also shy. More on him later. More on that later. Or part of. Him. Uh, okay, so you say Mares, you say Arnautovic, and I say uh, Vardy party. I'll, uh, I'll actually I'll put a poll up right. Uh, once this is up tomorrow morning. I told you we'll talk about Ali later. Yes. Um, now, Lee Miller, that was a dick joke. Lee Miller passed away at the age 30. 
Jesus, guys. Oh, you see, every time, every time there's something somber to talk about. Now, look what you've done. So you oh, it is actually. This is sort of my topic of this humorous comedy show where we every once in a while have to throw in something horrible that happened and go to being mournful and then. Yeah. Well, Dan, why don't you take this one away? Because he, he um, played for. Um, he did, did he play for Leeds? He did, actually, yeah. Go, okay, go ahead. Played for Man United, Celtic, 20 odd caps for Ireland. Tell you, he's actually like, I'm not CV alone. But, like, uh, it's fucking mad. Like, I heard he was sick, but... When did he retire? Uh, like I don't think he actually did retire. He was playing in, down in Australia. So he stopped playing because of illness, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Okay. Like, he, I saw him play for Cork, like, about a year ago. Oh, my, really? Yeah. So, it's just what it is what it is. It's, it's not like, it, like, in terms of his actual career and his CV, to put all those things on it and accomplishments, like, sure. playing for those clubs. And it was, uh, it was cancer, was it? Yeah, like I, he's not even sick, not that long, only about six months as well. So, um, so, so things, you know, sort of that one of those things so in football young. that's sort of horrible that uh, while the person is alive, like you make fun of him for being, oh, Lee Miller, the new Roy Keane, and then he dies, and it's like shame, but you know, he, what, a, what a career. Like, I think every sort well, of no, well, every well Alex Ferguson did buy him, like, he couldn't have been shit. I'm not and like, he, uh, he shit, did, I'm he did, saying. he did have a lot of injuries kind of around 2005, six. Then he went down to Leeds Championship and you just really couldn't get that form back. But he was unreal with Celtic. And I certainly, I certainly don't want to take runs. anything away from his ability. But like, is Ferguson buying someone, Bebe, really an indication that they're not shit? What? Bebe. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, you know. Bebe. Bebe. Um, anyway, it's really sad. Obviously, it's, it's far, far too young. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's really bad news. Uh, there's actually a, another case of a, a player having to retire early that I want to get to in a minute when I can find it here. Um, Leeds sack Thomas Christensen and appoint Paul Heckenbottom. Not to yes. be confused with Higginbottom. I, I haven't been paying a lot of attention to the championship, but I met Dan. No and way. He, tried, he tried to exactly... He, although he tried to explain to me what was going on at Leeds. I think he told me in their last 10 matches, they got 10 red cards. And like half okay. the squad okay. is injured. So we can all agree one of the best pages on Facebook is the Irish Simpsons memes. And we <laughs> oh, all it was everywhere. It was everywhere. <laughs> we, all all saw, we all saw the flying hellfish one where can you go? What is it? What's the quote? Can you go two minutes without embarrassing yourself to go? Yes. <laughs> this pants drop and it's all the Leeds red cards and results over the last month. And then the crest I think was in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very oh, good. No, well, oh, look, it's awful. Essentially, like, he actually did pr- you know, he's doing a pretty good job. Like, we were fifth up until uh, New Year. Uh, we, we lost our best player, so I mentioned her in the show before, he's for spitting. Ridiculous. <laughs> stupid red cards. Stupid red cards. It's loads cultur- of injuries. It's a, it's a Yorkshire cultural thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, so is Spanish, so... No, well, like, no, <laughs> but when, you, when you come in, you accept the culture. Are you kind of like say that a foreigner's come in and brought spitting into the game? Yeah. No, I didn't say that. Because <laughs> you have you have Juff, so right? Yorkshire. We you had him as well. You signed him as Running a Running for presidency of uh, Senegal now, by the way. Like the actual all... Yeah, he's, a, still, he's doing a George Way as president of Liberia. But anyway, yeah. Oh yeah. Dear. So loads of injuries, suspensions, best players out. We had wingers playing full back, right backs playing centre half, then the right backs playing centre half, that's why they get sent off. So then we're left at mid- midfielders, centre half, left backs, centre half. It was just a, a joke. You know... It, if something was going on, all of a sudden it just something I don't know. Like the discipline, I can't blame the manager for, but there's a reason why they're doing it. Does that make sense? Like they're professional footballers. Like he can't go, don't headbutt a guy or don't spit in a guy I or agree. don't do a stupid tackle and get sent off I agree a straight with that, red. But ten red cards is no. That's what I'm saying. There's something there that I don't. We did. Like, we I think, don't. I think you have to blame the manager. Yeah, there. but there's yeah. something that we don't know or what was going on. But anyway, he's gone and this guy's in. He did a very good job at Barnsley. Like he produced, he was a coach at Barnsley. Then got the head job. So he brought through people like John Stones, Alfie Mawson, uh, he, Bree. Set, he had Kent on loan last year. He had um, Winnell up front. Like he actually brought you a lot of these players. Conor Horan. He coached all these guys, and I think that's what Leeds want is a really good young coach. But coach at Barnsley and coach at Leeds is just massive. I just, I just assume that Leeds had ran out of managers to hire at this point. Yeah, no, I, I, I said I'll do it next year instead, but like it's just. Yeah, I know like that player is if you didn't. Uh, Speaking of sacking, um, West Brom have also sacked their chairman and CEO as they sit bottom of the Premier League. How do you sack a CEO? That is incredibly interesting. The board, the, of the board of directors, they're publicly traded or yep. shareholders can 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 vote to um, 
Uh, what's Not the word? After like they saw Daniel Sturridge. And like, okay, I need to bring this up with you. I'm very upset with you. Why? It's not funny. It's very funny. How is it funny? Because is it it funny? Ha- if something happens over and over again, yes. The man went to the fucking bottom placed team to try and get to the World Cup. And after his third start within 16 I think, seconds. I think do, the, we, do we know the extent the, of the injury? The, 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 did the, he just done? Is match it, high, match, is match of the day are talking sure. uh, about how Jack Wilshire is on that plane despite not having any pace or being in any way good. Uh, oh no, Wilshire's playing well. Yeah, well yes. no, yeah, but he's still slow and he still shouldn't be. He's, he's, he's England's best midfielder. Exactly. So I'm just saying I think Daniel Sturridge gets in the England squad if he doesn't play start a game for Liverpool. But he said he goes to West Brom to play for Paris. I actually no hold on, I actually agree with John's logic here. And in, in, in times gone by, now I don't know if it's okay. It's not gonna happen now. But in, all you had to do I know was, was be play English. for a big team. Okay. Not even play for them. Okay. Be in the reserves and you're in the okay. English squad. Can, can I just can I just weren't West Brom in for someone else, but then they went for Daniel Sturridge for uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, like can can I go back to your point I please? Daniel Sturridge right, you wouldn't know it. But over the last season and a half, he's actually been fitter more than he's been injured. And the man hasn't he had hasn't a... played. The, yeah, but the man hasn't... My point is, the man hasn't had a call-up. So what makes you think he's going on the plane? The man is not being picked for England. He hasn't been picked for England over a year. Why would he be picked... But who else would be on, a, on, that, on that plane? A guy who possibly could have taken a spot has turned into a big racist, his striking partner, Rodriguez. Like. Yeah, there's Rodriguez who's a racist. There's Andy okay. Carroll who... Andy Carroll's not going on the plane. just as bad. Andy Carroll will be there. I oh bring so it's Jamie Vardy and Harry Kane are the two strikers. Sure. So Rashford. The, the, Rashford. Yeah, maybe. Like, what? Ra- there's Rashford no Rashford, Rashford at the same level. Baby. Rashford is playing Rashford occasionally will right wing. Rashford will definitely go. I'm Rashford is definitely not. going. I'm just saying, why is there such a big difference between Rashford, who sits on the bench? I think what they Vardy could do plays. is they could bring four out and out strikers and, and then only play one up front, and then they'll use Ali as a second Look, striker. Look, it's a name we'll, we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know yeah, if he was Walcott got... We'll never know if he... World Cup in 2006. And you know what? Uh, and he hasn't been since. He's played for Arsenal. And after he's not been since. No. no. That's the and and after, after this yeah. weekend, after this weekend, he might be going again. Oh, he might go. Yeah, Theo Walcott, but he's yeah. a midfielder. Wellbeck. Well, he Wellbeck play. will go. Wellbeck has way more chance of going well to Daniel Sturridge. Yeah, because he plays on the bench for a big team. Yeah, but Daniel Sturridge, but he's getting called up. Intermittently, Danny Sturridge just didn't get called up. Danny Sturridge is more international goals than well, in the I'll last, you, in the last well, year. In I'll the tell you the reason year. why Sturridge won't go, regardless of the club, he's not reliable. He'll just break yeah. down and get injured sure. anyway. And that's There's you've lost point. spot. You, yeah, so. well, well, you can't call in if it's no, before, you can't. No, if it's before no, the first game. No, well, well, see if he gets injured <laughs> after the first game. Of course he will. Look, he was never going. He was never going. But anyway. and an issue with Liverpool. It, obviously, he's not in Klopp's mind. He's not. You know, club don't want him. Sure, no one's going to buy him. The way this is. Well, like if he's at West Brom for uh, like two weeks, he's played what X amount of minutes, not much, and now it's like he's injured. We don't know how long it's out I for. Think they're just happy to get his wages but, off. The but that's what I'm saying. They, yeah, they can't just keep thing. pawning him out to loan teams because no one's going to buy him. So what's his wages? Say I what? Think people always buy him. I think people keep getting these. Mad he must deals. be what third highest earner, maybe. Well, look. He, here's the thing. I guarantee. But like, I'm just saying, going he's, it's going to be difficult to get rid of him because he's probably got what 18 months left in his contract. I I don't know. I think he'll go in the summer. I do. I really do. They have to pay him off. We'll see. Um, no one will buy him. Ryan I'll Mason, buy him. after suffering the injury against Chelsea, wasn't it? Yeah, Cahill. So he uh, he was told by neuro- neurologi- neurologist 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 to retire. I'm actually kind of glad he has retired because it was actually vicious. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, okay. It was that bad, but yeah. like, obviously they say, look, we can't clear you to play, but like, if you want to have a a successful, healthy life. Just you know, and he's going to be all right. He'd probably have the odd headache now and then. I'd say, but like, well, it could be worse. But you know what I mean? Like, he could, he could, he could, he could be having post-concussion stress seizures. You know, like well, other people we providing know. Providing he's okay, I, it's good that he's probably not playing football. You know what I mean? <laughs> he Kalini needs there did so well <laughs> and then fell on his arse. He needs to. He needs to not play. I'm not laughing at that. Yes, Kalini did fall on his arse. Um, you, you started laughing at Liam Miller. You started laughing at. <laughs> Mason Ryan. Mason Ryan. Very nice man. What are you saying about Lee Miller? Carabeck. Um, anyway, the dinosaur thing is not funny. I, I resent that. You turn your back on him the second he walks out the door. It's horrible. I turned my back on him two years ago. When you said <laughs> yeah, it's probably Remember true. the day he got came back from injury and then he says, oh yeah, I'm back in the squad. And then like a day later, yeah, he was gone for another three months. Yeah, Damn, that happened four to five it was times. Four, 20, <laughs> yeah, 24, really 2014, 15 season. And we saw his comeback against West Ham. Yeah. And he scored and then went injured again. Can I ask you a wee question, just before I forget it? Of course. Just in regards, because I was wearing this out in my head, right? 
this Liverpool Porto game on tomorrow, and we'll do a full Champions League preview. But this Liverpool Porto game that's on tomorrow, yeah, this is the first time that Liverpool have been in a knockout Champions League game since 2010 or 11? Since Chelsea. Yeah. In 2009. Yeah. 2009. Yeah. yeah. Got knocked out in the group. 2010. We got knocked out in the group stages. Out, didn't they? Wait, was it not eight nine? We came second, so we would have been in the Champions League the next yeah, year. Yeah, and you only and got, you got, you got didn't get out of the group stages. Didn't the group. That's isn't that amazing? It anyway, shows how far like we fo- we you fall. were. Well, you know? yeah. Clap out. Okay, West Ham signed Patrice Ever on free transfer. You, John, you were so confused by this. I he kicked a fan. <laughs> I know. Can I can I say why he signed? A football van? Because he loves. The banter and the bubbles. Okay, so you know your man, uh, Tony Henry. Did you, did you see the was, pun? It, Tony Henry is my spoof for the week, so I'll do it now, right? We're just jumping all over the shelves. The it's former for director of recruitment for West Ham was sacked because of his comments about black people and Africans, right? Patrick Everett is a free transfer. Yes. They can get him in. Let's sign a black player because we're selling all ours and not bad controversy. And You think it's a PR he's stunt? Also, he's kicked a racist in the head. And we're, we're getting this guy on a free. He'll be there for six months. And will he <coughs> even play? Creswell's ahead of him. Masawaka's ahead of him. He probably won't play. Um, so you, so, so you, you think I, it's PR, a complete yeah? PR stunt. You think it's a complete PR. PR stunt. And, uh, you know, you know that's what it is. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I'm, I'm convinced that's what it is. The, anyway. that's, um, the pun was um, when he signed was, I'm forever blowing bubbles. <laughs> and I think he was signed for that reason. I'd say John is, uh, both you guys sound like conspiracy theorists. I'd like to think it's John's reason, though. To be honest, Andy, with Andy Carroll, uh, Chicharito, Zabaleta, and Evra in that side, like it, it's, it's a great FIFA team. Like Back in real game. life, it's 2011. very 2011. slow. Twenty eleven. No, I mean even now, FIFA don't bring down the stats. Well, well Neil Marshall's reckon on the side. Shoot Martin Shoot. Kelly in that team at once, <laughs> lads. <laughs> 90 listen, ninety two. <laughs> oh, he was more than that, surely. <laughs> okay, um, will we do? Uh, will we do? We have any more news here uh, that you can think of? I'll, I'll have a little scan through. If you guys can think of anything in the interim. Really is. Speak amongst uh, yourselves. Um, League of Ireland returns this weekend. Okay, we'll just do that. So, um, Bose and Rovers is live on the RTE. Is that Friday night? Friday night. Friday and night. John's coming up for eight, eight, eight o'clock. Woo! You're going up to the game. No, yes. no, he's I'm going to a house to have cans. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I'm not big, it's big bag of it's in, it's in, it's cans. It's in the place called Bohemian. Where are you guys watching it? My front room. Oh, th- thanks. Coming up. Thanks. Um, well, you're on your holiday diet. I am. Well, anyone's more welcome up. We have to wear a Rovers jersey. Well, John doesn't have one. Oh, he'll have one by the end of the night. I have a Blackburn yeah. Rovers jersey. No. You don't. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't clarify, so that should count. Do you? No. Does it have Chris Sutton on the back, like just his face instead of a number? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dundalk versus Bray. Uh, St. Pat's versus Cork. Waterford versus Derry, and Sligo versus Limerick. Who will win this year? Will it be Dundalk or Cork? Uh, Cork beat them 4-2 last week. It's like their charity shield. Yep. And they were 2-0 down. Yep. Uh, I think Cork will do it again. Is there well, it'll be closer. Is there an outside third? Do you remember the Rovers will be third, do you definitely. Remember, do you remember when Dundalk had again. that great Europa League run and everyone was like, oh, no, no, with all this money, they'll run away with the, the league for the next five years. And then Cork had the league won in like... Well, October. you see, the issue, the issue with Dundalk, <laughs> they right? They got like a million. You see, the issue with Dundalk is like they, they got so much money, but there's only so much the caliber player they can get and also the size of the club and what fan base. What did they do with their the money? The fan base isn't big enough to actually progress. If Cork City were in that position getting like what near that odd mi- one, that one million or two million, yeah, whatever they yeah, got. Yeah, a game or something. If they got that, Cork City got that money, they could revamp their stadium to make it even better. They they have the the population and they've got the fan base. Do what, what, but what Dundalk do they, don't have what, that. What so they they, they can't new, got new like, big American. Dundalk, I said I said Dundalk will still always be up there, but they're never mm. going to get any better than they are that but year. What, what and they lost Daryl uh, Horgan and all them fellas. There was no chance they were going to. When Patrick McLaney's gone this year, they won't be the team they were. Um, a little bit of breaking news here: is, uh, Sky and BT are going to keep their packages. Uh, in a new TV deal. So this is television rights fees for uh, 2019 and 2022. So 128 games for there? Sky. Um, well, what? Okay, so the, the basically the news there. Be I'm, in I'm, sport. I'm looking for a fi- No, that has nothing to do with it. I'm looking for a figure here. I presume that would be do interesting. Do you remember the site, Iraqi here we go. Goals? Here we go. It was not the greatest site of all time. It was pretty good. Basically, I Dan, the reason Iraqi that goals. this is news. It was news more of a one on 101 great goals. No. 
No, 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 no. Iraqi Golds was first row before first row was first row. And Iraqi Golds had every game. And more, more choice. The reason that this is news, Dan, is because obviously when they were going for the TV rights, they were, you know, whoever has the most games, which is I believe yeah. Sky, uh, obviously BT were trying to get some of those games. But the packages are remaining the same. So BT have as many oh. as they have and Sky have as many as they have. And it's, it's not going to change. And most likely Sky, who got the early kickoff back this year, it means that they're most likely going to do that. So all your half fives are going and midweeks are going to, and a lot of the midweeks are going to be on BT. Your two Sundays and your three o'clock Nile Queen well, channel BT, and your early one. BT have the sneaky like 12 o'clock game super, on BT. Super early Sunday. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Okay. So it'll probably be the same as it is. Um, anyway, all right. So. Premier League review. We kind of talked about the West Brom game. We'll work our way back towards that. Spurs and Arsenal. Um, this I found this really fun, to be honest. Harry Kane with the only goal. But within the first 20 minutes of the second half, Spurs should have had about five, to be fair. The finishing was just so bizarrely bad. And speaking of bad finishing, I think the most memorable thing coming out of the game is Lacazette's chance in the last 30 seconds. And as I texted you fine fellows, it only took a game and a half for Aubameyang to be pushed out on the way. I did call it, by the way, and it was called a numpty by you or something. Because it's a numpty decision. I know, but I'm just saying, that's what he's going to do. He was always going to yeah, do that. Yeah, because Lacazette's been firing in all cylinders and deserves to get well, that Well, I'd spot. actually blame Wenger for the way Lacazette's playing because he's, 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 he's killed him. But would you not put Lacazette on the wing if you had to play both of them? Well, he, he's put Lacazette on the wing when he was the only striker they had. Uh, like, he's done this. Well, like. th- okay, whatever. Anyway, the point is um, Spurs deserved winners, yes. Well, I tell you, they were deserved winners, but Arsenal should have got a draw on that. Those late chances, you know what I mean? Nee. No, Spurs have been weird because like, in all, they, in all they, their they, big they matches they against Liverpool, anyone, like. United and Arsenal at home, they should have smashed all of them. Like, they did smash Liverpool, but Liverpool gave them a lot of the goals and it should have been more. Uh, well, they got the goals they didn't deserve and didn't get the goals they did absolutely. in the Liverpool game. That's and, for sure. And then the United match was the same. That was 2-0. That could have been any score. Yep. And then the Arsenal match was the same. Arsenal did almost nick at the end. Uh, they literally... Arsenal remember? are very far off the top four now. Like, 40 surprisingly f- so. 45 points. Yeah, the f- if, if they've, uh, Chelsea win their... Oh, Spurs, Chelsea, Spurs, Ch- Spurs Ch- win their game. Ch- in Chelsea won last night. Oh, it's, it's they're, they're miles off. It's but the only way they're, they're going to get big in is probably Europa League. S- sorry. But so, Aubameyang so, can't play in that. I think Ar- Arsenal are seven points off fifth, right? I think that's yeah. what it is, yeah? Seven okay. points off fifth. It's absolutely insane. But, like, like they're, 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 they've been closer to, like, to Burnley and Leicester. Not anymore. They're kind of in an island to themselves at the moment. Burnley, Burnley are great. Bur- Burnley, Burnley haven't won a match in <laughs> two months <laughs> and they're still seventh. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> Newcastle were 18th and they beat United and went to 30th. <laughs> this table is fucking mad. It's, it's poor Burnley it's, on an It's island. the weirdest table. Just Sean Dyke on an island by himself eating worms just having a wonderful time. <laughs> <It's> fucking <laughs> Sean Dyke. Um, okay. Everton and Crystal Palace. This Everton team looked so good. Rooney playing oh, this, this match was crazy because... Uh, it was nil all for a while. Palace were holding them up. And uh, Hugo Benteke mm. had two great directed headers that went just wide. And then Nias tries to header a ball into the corner. And it hits off the other side of his head and ends up <laughs> in the net. I bet poor Hugo sitting there going, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, uh, poor Hugo. Everton fans booing Schneiderlin coming on. <laughs> I was like, eh, all right. Yeah, he want, yeah. I don't think he wants to be there, does he? I don't think he does. But it was I, a really, I think it was the Everton fans are pretty upset um, with Ridiculously attacking fan. team, wasn't it? Yeah, like you it had was after Davies Allardyce came and out and Rooney said, in the midfield, yeah, and he said Allardyce, uh, Allardyce said Rooney and Sigurdsson can Sigurdsson. play together. That's why he dropped them against Arsenal, and it turns out they can play pretty well. They can play pretty well, but Sigurdsson was playing ahead of Rooney. Schneiderlin was sacrificed, uh, as in in starting position. Uh, and forget, yes, he forget about that guy. Yeah. Balassi didn't start. Classy Balassi looked Classen, shite. Oh, they got a Fiax. He's like at the under twenty trees at the Yeah. He, well, he wanted to leave, didn't he? And yes. Then. Also, there was your man, Luckman, who went to, on Luckman, loan to Red Bull Leipzig. And yeah. Al- Allardyce said, what are you going over there for to the German league? And then he scored his debut. So, of the top six, yeah? Yep. Who has spent the least amount of money over the last season on players? It's fairly obvious. Liverpool? S- nah. The least. Spurs? Yeah. Right, okay. Have Everton spent more than Spurs? Yes. 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 So. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so anything well, else? Everton needed more work than Spurs did. Like, I, I don't really like <laughs> stats like that. Yeah. It's like... Uh, Shakiri scoring again for Stoke. Uh, against Can I just say Brighton the end of this match oh, is, is one the of the best. great. It's, it's, so it's <laughs> bar, bar the Arsenal Everton finish from last season when Czech ended up behind Stecklenburg <laughs> in the goal. This is the best finish I've ever seen to a Premier League game. 
No, because like there was a Liverpool Spurs match last week, and I'm like, there'll never be an ending like this. And then Stoke Brighton, it's getting less attention because it's Stoke, Stoke Brighton, Brighton, but it's so. And funny. it was last time match yeah. today. I was going to turn yeah. it off. I'm yeah. like, I, I'll just watch the whole thing. Hesse, Hesse crap. gets pulled down. Yeah, tries to grab the ball because he's been Charlie injured Adam. and out of form and not very good. <laughs> but Charlie Adams, the set piece taker, which fair play to the darts player he's actually quite a good set piece taker so he lines it up he is a darts player isn't he, he does. Yeah. He's, absolute dar- he's, yeah, he's, he's a great he's set piece taker he always was though he's definitely the lad you know when you walk into your local pub early enough just to watch a football match there's just that old man who just sits at the bar and just kind of like looks at you like he's the sunday league legend he's yeah. like no matter how old he gets he's he'll not. always be the lad that everyone's buy a li- pint for after sunday penalty. league uh, yeah. pressure penalty so hits it r- straight in the middle and then the ball rebounds back to him and him being can I just say he, he was the biggest slug <laughs> running up to hit that rebound yeah. he literally he got up and he's like uh, I'll walk over and just yeah. tap it in yeah. it was a brilliant tackle yeah. now by uh, it, it by wasn't Dunk. It's, gee, they should have got well, a second no, penalty it was, it's uh, an awful tackle Would you he say won the ball he did not he did win the ball oh he went through him it was oh, he won the ball I'm not having that do you think it was the rebound Zaza-esque it was like Zaza's run up was the rebound. Oh yeah, like he literally he strolled over yeah. to it. It's like man, run and shoot. And it was like it was like he was in slow and, motion. And he goes, keep... "Watch me win this game." And it wasn't even team. that. It wasn't even that it hit the post. The keeper saved it, right? So Matt Ryan saved it in goal. So sure. Adam was allowed to touch the ball next. It wasn't like he hit the post. And exactly. He had to wait yeah. For someone yeah. else, and it goes out for uh, a corner, a corner kick. Ball comes in. Adam then pissed off. Shoots in the corner and it hits the post. No, the keeper saves it. Keeper has to. Oh yeah, he saves it onto the post. Right, yeah. another corner comes in. Adam whips it in again. <laughs> cleared off the line. I haven't oh. seen that like it in my life. Oh, it was, it was one of the greatest finishes it's ever. Also, um, Lambert coming out going, "Oh, these things happen." I'm like your bottom of the Premier. Uh, sorry, second bottom second of the Premier bottom. League. Uh, that appointment's oh, not yeah. going that's, very that's well. It's a curveball. One, one three place goes too down, high for my liking. Okay, three teams will absolutely sick up. Uh, Swansea and Burnley. Speaking of Burnley's run of poor form. What a run Swansea are on. It's, it's a comeback game. We Kings. thought they were done and dusted. I'm kind of sad. I really like the idea that, uh, you know, it looked like my prediction came through. That they go. They're, they're, not, like, they're go. not out of it yet, mind yeah. you, but they're, they're doing well. Uh, West Ham. Uh, but, what, but the thing is, if you look at all the teams down there, anyone who's got actually a goal score are getting enough points to stay up. Like, you look at the, people, the teams who don't have one now. Huddersfield, they did win. Very good win. And ironically, they did score four. But no one's been scoring goals from prior to this weekend, right? Mm-hmm. Brighton are struggling to score. Murray will get the odd one. Mm-hmm. Stoke have nothing up front. Um, Newcastle. Newcastle have nothing up front. Uh, Even though they've gone West ahead Brom against have nothing most up big front teams. Now, yeah. With Sturridge going, he was their gamble. Um, like, if you look at all the teams in there, Bournemouth will stay up now. because they can score enough goals. Yeah, Palace can score enough goals, they'll stay up. West Ham can score enough goals, so they're out of it now, in my view. Like... I think if you look at all the clubs down there, well, sp- they're, they're just they can't score. Brighton and Newcastle are relying on their defenses, and yeah. I think it's helped them a lot. I think it's but helped Brighton they can't more than rely on it. Like, like they need something to, to like Brighton aren't scoring goals. There's only so much clean sheets they can get. If they don't get a clean sheet, yeah, then right. they're, they're they're gone. Then you know. Uh, speaking of West Ham, Arnudovic and Chikorito 2 0 against Watford. Arnudovic was this? incredible. In no. this Carlison was great. Is this was, it's like, uh, City now, Aguero, this outrageous. The brilliant assist for Sterling's goal. It's yeah. The, the most incredible pass I've ever seen. Did you enjoy it's that assist more than Roberto Firmino's assist? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's nice, impartial reporting. Um, Aguero getting <laughs> you know, four. You see back heel assists all the time. You never see a true one. No, Damn I'm it, Neil. You. I'm commending you. I'm, Take I'm off your seriously. Firmino jersey, your Firmino goggles. I ain't got no Firmino goggles. I wasn't going to say Take that was my Firmino goal of the week. You're blinding me with your Firmino teeth. I wish. Uh, Vardy getting the one back, which I think was the one that caused the record we spoke about earlier in the show. So... Um, Quite incredible from Aguero. It absolutely has gone completely under the radar how many goals he's scored this season so far. Like, yes, but it's the amazing thing is as well. He hasn't been a starter in every game. He's been taken off a lot. And he hasn't. He, hasn't, he, Jesus, didn't, he didn't start until a Jesus got injured. You've actually seen probably a better Aguero again. You know. Do you think he's even in the league, lad? Uh, uh, Kevin De Bruyne was like complaining about how tired he was. He was. And then they all got some time off. I bet Leicester were pleased. <laughs> yeah. Back uh, holiday. Huddersfield and Bournemouth. Um, Dan, you mentioned this earlier as 4 0 Huddersfield, which is 4 uh, 1. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, well, Newca- good win for Huddersfield, but again, they badly need it. They haven't won a game in like nine matches or something before. Like They were in serious rot. Neil, I believe you wanted to talk about this match. Newcastle and. No, the Huddersfield match. Oh. <laughs> no. 
I'm saving it for my awards. Uh, and we, we all should save it for our awards. Richie, uh, again, the only goal for Newcastle, this, uh, the, the kind of the lowest brow Mourinho versus Benitez match that's ever happened in history. And Benitez, with his usual spin, came out before the game and was saying, you know, ah, we've gotten the first goal against big teams this year. We just couldn't hang on to it, but we'll do it this time. And they did, and it was amazing. Well, then, did you hear Mourinho said, I'm the best behaved manager in the world? <laughs> Interesting. They have, Newcastle <laughs> have tried this tactic against all the big clubs. Yes, they have. Uh, it didn't work against Liverpool, but Liverpool's defenders hit the ball at their own feet and it went in the net. <laughs> That's uh, great. It didn't work against City, although it came close. And then it worked against United because Mike Smalling took a dive and Sanchez uh, tried to be fancy with his uh, up and goal. Newcastle love a slide tackle, though. They, they, they do. They do. Uh, Sanchez's stats again. John Joe Shelby, what, what is he on that plane? Absolutely. He's, he's better than Jack fucking Wilshire. Henderson. He's better than Jack Wilshere. No, he's not better than Wilshere. Wilshere! Um, Wilshere's not had a good game for England ever. The thing about... Uh, neither is, neither is Henderson, to be game. fair. I, I actually think that... I think <laughs> Henderson is yeah, a better... Yeah, he played I, uh, the Iceland and the Slovenia game. He games. came on a half-time in the Iceland game. Against Iceland, and they created nothing. He's a bad player. I think that, that was under Hudson. I think Henderson can be <laughs> just... Gareth Southgate is going to get the tactical best I'm just Okay, Wilshere. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wilshere uh, uh, is their best midfielder. I think that Henderson, at his best, is better than Wilshere. But I don't... Henderson as best as better than Wilshire. Henderson's better than Wilshire. But I've never seen Henderson play for England well. Which Henderson's Wilshire. not better than Wilshire. I think, I think on his best day, Come Henderson on. is. Yeah, absolutely. Henderson is more. I think they're both. Bad. Come on now. No, no. pre injury last year, that Henderson, yeah. Henderson from Cloth's first season, I definitely no. have there. That's just, just my opinion. That's um, my opinion Keith. So. The whole Pogba debacle. Do we need to talk much about it? Got taken off the six-six minutes. Well, he's just getting found out for the fraud he is. I've been saying all oh season. Oh my god! So, well, we'll keep going. Amen. Amen. Mourinho's playing him as a DM. He's not a DM. They bought. Sanchez I would tend to agree. Uh, well, it, it, I will say, like I will say, a better manager will get more out of him. Yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But well, I think Mourinho's good for for ninety million though, and that was ninety million before it blew up the prices. It was still blowing up. It was it was part of the explosion. Mm, it was a year before. Well. Yeah, and I think it was the catalyst to actually make this summer as mental as it was. Well, regardless, he's Pogba hasn't done it again. He and was, it, he's a, he's and actually he was well. actually pretty great this season up he until hasn't last been month. That great. Yeah, he's been pretty he damn hasn't great. Been that great. He's been fine. When you watch him, he is. Yeah, he's great in the last effective. ten minutes when t- shit teams are I'm tired, not, and he can uh, bomb no. forward, and there's acres of room he runs into, and then he does a little side pass to someone. Oh, there's a big assist for Pogba. If he had like players, if he had players as young and as mobile as Man City's forwards, and he was playing in the De Bruyne position or even even the David Silva position, I think we'd be talking a lot differently about him. I just don't think he's fitting in this team, and the, the position that he's playing with with but, Matic doing his running. But hold for on, him, hold on. But the, the you have to look at Pogba as a player, though, right? Forget this isn't about the tactics, right? He's playing in a two in midfield, right? Yes, which he so, should be. And he had he gen- during the moment it's Matic beside him, and Lingard is front and uh, number ten, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time you see managing Pogba against any team, Pogba is generally 10 yards ahead of uh, Matic. That's because he wants they, to play they the top quick of midfield. They were quick one-two, and yes. then they're through on Matic, and it's like 4v1 in midfield. That's because he, doesn't, he shouldn't play there. Yeah, Dan, but, yeah, Dan, but Dan, he's Dan, a Dan, professional Dan, footballer. Dan. How has he not got this in his head? Like, Mourinho... Dan, you play players out of position, they're not going to play well. Let me just give you an example. Out of position, it's, just, it's called sitting in and okay, learning hold the game. Dan, You're a professional footballer. Dan. Instead of just wandering meanderly out of the left okay. wing all the time. Is Aubameyang on. one of the most prolific strikers in Europe? He's one of the best strikers in Europe. Yes, he yeah. is, right? Okay. Do you think that he would be anywhere... Co- I think he's a perfect example of this. Well, left wing Do is different to up front. Okay. He's still playing in the middle of the park. My Midfielder sh- like him should be doing everything. I, I, I would disagree. I, as I said, he should be basing himself on Yaya Torre of 2013-14 season. He should be basing Yaya himself on everything. He should, be, he should be playing to his strengths. Maybe he's just really, yeah. really good at one position. Play to Look, his strengths. If Aubameyang played the entire season on the and left... What, 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 are his, what are his strengths? What's his best? What's he best at in midfield? I think is is just says, says a lot about him that he needs two guys beside him when he's only twenty three years old, ninety million, the poster boy on four hundred grand a week. I th- I think he needs two guys I think beside him to do the dirty work. For I him? think he's number Come ten. On. No, I think he's number ten. Here's the thing: if Obama played the entire season on the left, Wenger would be blamed for it. Pogba playing the entire entire season out of position, he'll be blamed for it, not Mourinho. I, and that's that's not fair. I that's a double standard. S- no, I. I Playing left wing is a lot because, first of all, if you're left wing, you have to track back. You have to follow the full back. That's completely different. Well, not the Arsenal system. Not the Arsenal system okay, in the well, same I'm way. Left wing and up front is different. Well, let's just say and, in the Arsenal system. But if you're playing system. in a two or a three and you can't hold position, 
against a big team when they're flooding midfield and they're killing you and you're standing left wing not even running after the ball or chasing people. He needs to be that in a free role. He needs to be in a free role. He needs to be in a free role. This is just the position he plays. He's good at it. I plays with strength. I'm not, I, I just can't Okay, we'll that. move on. He should be, we'll you're move. right, but he should be a lot more 2-2. Oh it went through the wall. No, I went under the wall to be fair. That was a great free kick. Uh, but well, I was saying, Pogba should be learning more. John, let's, let's bring him back in. Do you think United finish second? I think we're going to finish second. I know I shouldn't have said it. Okay, speaking of Liverpool, Liverpool said Hampton. Um, this was nice. I was not a foul as I was well. A, I was, so I was, Ali, Ali with a lovely dive. No, he went through. Him, Dan. Wasn't. Um, uh, Firmino with the uh, first cover early on, oh. and then Salah with this the great. This is nice. I was having crazy. a few points watching this, and it got very relaxed. It's the most relaxed yeah. Liverpool match since the second half versus Hoffenheim yeah. in September. I didn't think we looked great though. No, I think I our th- problems in the last few weeks we still look the same. No, I think yeah. I think I think Southampton beat themselves. I think they made the mistake for the Firmino goal, and then they had a few chances. Carius made a few good saves, surprisingly. Yeah, Carius Carius had a great game, and hey. then a bit of skill by Liverpool's two forward men uh, finished the match, and then Liverpool go right. We're yeah. going, we're going to Portugal. What do you think of Harry DT? How bad is he? He's not great. He's a Who? Man. Who are you asking? Hey, Southampton, I think, will get relegated if they don't sack their uh, manager. He's honestly like the players that they actually have. I was actually going through it. They're actually not. But they're like bad, they're bad like you're saying with so. your goals though. Like when Charlie Austin plays, they're okay. But when they have like Shane Long, uh, they've a bit more out. though. Like they've 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 got like I like McCarthy in goal. I just think he's a good understudy. You think he's a good keeper? They've got some like Bertrand's a good player. Uh, Spurs are going to win this now. Um, Ward Prowse is good. Davis is good. Lamine is good. Like they're not they're terrible. They're fine. I just don't. They're not they're terrible. Just think they, they should be finishing probably about thirteenth or fourteenth in the league. They but beat this West guy Brown hasn't week, a clue before what he's that, doing. They hadn't won in months. And then yeah. That yeah but that, I, I, I would, and I don't advocate sack managers. I hate sack managers. But this guy needs to get it. He hasn't a clue what he's doing. Yeah. Honestly, I'm looking at that. Sure. Uh, to be honest, I think it's the churn is a lot of the issue with Southampton. I just think that like. If you look at a team that came like fucking sixth three seasons ago or whatever it was, and you look at the churn in players and like who they've brought in, mm. and then a couple of injuries on top of that, like they've never set themselves up to improve. If they've well, every can't, season, you can't keep but season up, that season upon season, like no, but yeah, yeah, no, no, see, yeah, exactly. Season upon season, they've just they've put themselves into a worse and worse. Well, they're putting my career up front now. He's supposed to be the like if he doesn't start scoring. Yeah, so. I hope they go down just for sacking the manager that got them to a cup final. Oh, last. well, like. Oh, you man. love misery, don't you? Especially I this do. week. Um, you're, week. You're, maybe you, you laugh are, at misery. Maybe you're the bully of fun. Right. He's the pig in misery. Right. How, is, <laughs> how is the bully of fun Gary Bunk getting on the championship? He doesn't have a job. Oh, he got sacked. That's right. And he lit himself on fire. <laughs> I, I'm remembering all this now. Um, it's been a long time. He lit himself on fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunk lit himself on fire. <laughs> Chelsea and West Brom. We always talk about West Brom's hardships. Hazard looked uh, really good, and um, Victor Moses got a goal as well. Hazard looked great. Giroud's first start, uh, he looked dangerous, like but it's ha- West Brom. I feel like Hazard's having like secretly one of his better seasons for Chelsea. But because it's a sleeper so, season, yeah, because he's doing season. so, like he's literally doing everything for them. Like, you see, the whole thing he is, is for them. Hazard, Hazard like, gave up uh, scoring for the, the new the, year. A lot of people are just Do you see their fans going nuts, assists? by the way. Who? Uh, like Morata's out with a back injury, and then I think Morata's girlfriend oh, yeah. or wife posted a picture of them messing around with him, like holding her. And then they're like, "What are you doing, having fun with your bad back and stuff?" Apparently, the photo was old. I just uh, you t- you're talking about Hazard, though, right? Word. In terms of having like a, a good season or not, like he is actually in, in terms of his play. Like it's just a lot of people are just judged on goals and assists. Like if you go in the last twenty games, Lingard has more goals and assists. It doesn't mean he's a better player. Like it, it's what you can do yeah. on a pitch. Like he's, he's he is a very good player. He's running the team. And like yeah, so I'm saying, it just it doesn't matter if he's not getting goals. What's thing of Alonso getting everything. dropped? Sorry, what's thing of Alonso getting dropped? He's not. He's injured. I think he's injured. He was on the bench last by his by his. He's, he's back from injury because he didn't play last week because he's still my fantasy team. I'm gonna run through before we do the Champions League preview. Gonna run through um, the games that the top six are involved in next weekend. Just wanted to get quick results predictions off you if that's okay. Liverpool at home to West Ham. Uh, oh, they should uh, be Liverpool that, should have been three now. And out of it, likes to. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see your, tr- your be true colours. Yeah, really. Be a bully of fun. Uh, United and Chelsea. Oh, this this, this is uh, not next week. It's two weeks time. Oh it? wait, what do we have in between? You're right. FA Cup. Oh, this thing about? This is you're thing. right. Sorry. Is there anything happening in the FA Cup? Is it with City and Arsenal? Isn't it? Oh, Arsenal Road. That's a Carabao. I'm thinking. When's that? That's in two weeks. That's in two weeks. Right. What do we have FA Cup wise? Off the top of your head, boys. 
No idea. Never mind. Okay, let's just look at what we have coming up um, Champions League-wise over the next little while. So, we have uh, Porto and Liverpool tomorrow. Porto have been the absolute sleeper of the Champions League, by the way. The amount of goals they scored was like fourth or fifth in the knockout rounds overall total. You'll beat them comfortably. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, I Neil, they're not what? very good. You'll beat them comfortably. I can fend I can fend what? Not I can fend what? Abubakar. Abubakar. Is he now with Besiktas? No, he's with Porto. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, then I think Porto will be uncomfortable. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Abubakar. He's the goal machine. <laughs> no, I have to check this. Um, you guys I know talk, he was with Porto. You guys talk about, try not to talk too much about Zidane, just talk about um, Madrid and, and PSG there. And let me just, just for, for a second. Uh, uh, I think there will be goals in that match. match. Imagine there wasn't. Imagine it was not all. Uh, what, where's the first leg? The first leg in the uh, sure. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> give me it's the first thing that's come up is uh, um, Abubakar Samper, who is a Ghanaian. Vincent Abubakar is his name. Want to get it? Who is a Ghanaian politician? So um, very rare that you type in a footballer's name and it's not the first thing that comes up. Did Vincent. Right? Um, we'll check now. Remember in pro was it 16, 15? He was really good for Master League. Porto Dan. That's great. How did you know where the goal machine was? I no, thought I thought because he was with Besiktas. I forgot he moved. No, but he, and him and Casillas, isn't it? Casillas is definitely Have there. He's still got Andre. Andre, he's very good. Yeah, I think there's a front three that's causing an absolute muck here. There's, I know, you, you'll you'll win comfortably. Like they they'll, they'll be shite at Anfield. Okay, look, forget they'll about all right. In, in international soccer Porto. star Klein E is in the squad, which is good because he's been out all season. Oh really? Mm-hmm. That's really nice news. International so- soccer star, is it? Yeah, Where is he? I don't remember. He was just been injured all season. Oh my god! In that fucking yeah, that American program. Like, oh my god. Yeah, okay. Like yeah, young really young rappers him. in Miami or something. He goes. At times you have. It's like my ba- my bae yeah. will be respecting me because I've got international soccer star Klein E with me. And they don't think where she goes. She comes up and she shushes him away. Excuse you. All right, listen. Forget about first leg, second leg. I'll just give you the upcoming games. You tell me he's going to get through. Porto and Liverpool. Never Porto. You're son of a bitch. <laughs> Real Madrid and PSG. Uh, Madrid. I think I think Madrid will just they'll just come together for I think they could know how to play Champions League. Uh, this is the year, lads. This is the year. PSG. Chelsea and Barcelona. Barcelona. Mm. But yeah, Barcelona. Bayern and Besiktas. Ryan Babel is going out. <laughs> okay, okay. Going going okay. That's who I was thinking. <laughs> so he came and replaced the goal machine. Okay, all right, okay. That's, that's um, Sevilla, Man United. Yeah, Man, Man United. United. We only sound very happy about that. And Seville uh, were very poor against two matches against Liverpool, and that Liverpool is very fucked true. it up. Uh, United are still United. Uh, they're Shakhtar, Liverpool. Shakhtar and Roma? Uh, I'll be close. I, I think Roma just, but... Roma have done well in the Champions League. They got out of a tough group. Roma, so Roma, them. Roma, Roma, Roma. I'm telling you now, boys. Okay. And there's Zurich, Man City. They'll probably be a 5-0 up or something. Oh, sorry. Man City are 4-0 up as we speak. So okay, I thought right. that was a, a non-sequitur. And uh, this looks like Spurs will qualify for sure. Well, there's two away goals. That's bloody huge. All right. Do you want me to do my quick quiz? Yes. Okay. Do we so need harmonicas. I brought my own one. Uh, you did not. No, you can just shout them out. Um, you okay. know, I did a quiz with Dan once and I won the quiz. just want to say that. <laughs> you did. That was definitely a thing that happened. So uh, Aguero, <laughs> Aguero scored four goals. Uh... <laughs> Aguero scored four goals this weekend. Uh, this has happened 34 times in the Premier League. I'm not going to ask you for all 34, but I will ask you for the most recent 10. Lukaku, West Brom against United last day season. Okay, well, what's no, the question? No, he scored a hat-trick, but Lukaku is on the list. Players to score four or more goals in a game. And S- Luis Suarez, Norwich? Yes, 2-0, him. Uh, him Viduka? No. Because I'm asking the for last the ten, 10 years. Dad. Oh, last ten years. All right. Yeah. Well, he glory did, days. He did score four in 2000. Who he did? Pass you back, glory days. The last ten. <laughs> last ten years. Uh, well, I was asking for the most recent ten. The last. Players, the last. last 10 the most recent it. ten. Yeah. So uh, it goes to Harry Drogba. Kane. Harry Kane. It Harry Kane got four. 2009, 2010. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Uh, uh, Drogba is not on this list. Um. Tevez. Tevez. Our Shavin. Our Shavin. Yes. Shavin is not on this list. No. He is on the list, but not the most recent ten. Uh, uh, Lampard. Lampard is number ten. So three one. <sighs> oh, I got two. Did you? Drogba wasn't on the list. No, yeah. that's someone else there, didn't he? Nah. No. Nah, nah. Runa Kone, did he get four? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think him. Uh Vardy. Dean Dan. Vardy? No. Uh, no. Mares. No. 
Mares hasn't scored four goals in a season. I'm pretty. He got sure. a hat trick or two, and you, he didn't. He did. He did not get two hat tricks. Robin van Persie. No. Rooney. No. Oh. Um. Juru. <laughs> no. Sanchez. Sanchez got four, re- didn't he? It yeah, might have been a cup, though. Yeah, yeah. Sanchez definitely got four. I won't get. Yeah, well, it wasn't in the league. It wasn't in the league. Um, okay, so uh, is there a lot of recent guys on, is there? There is... Oh, Hugo Benteke? No. Uh, the, most re- the most recent one that hasn't been got... Tevez. Uh, I said not, Tevez. Sorry. Not uh, the most recent one is playing in the Premier League for a top four club, but he did not get these goals for that club. Oh. Okay, so. Um. Mane? No. He's got three against us, right? Did. Some great, there's some great names on this list. Um, Alibayor? No. Ross Barkley? No. <laughs> Jesus, what is it? Rooney? No. Can you name a striker? That's what we're playing now. Not a striker. <laughs> Um, in fact, yeah, there's two people yeah, on this list yeah, yeah. who got the four goals against the same team. Yeah, Ture? No. There has to be some wacky one, like where you just don't remember. Okay, it's so like playing the Premier League, they have to. It was in the Premier League only. Like is Jacko in there? Like? Jacko is in there. Yes, yeah. he did well there. So it's three two. Oh, you have Jacko, yeah. Yep. It's three 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 three. Oh, it's three three. Yeah. Um, I haven't been it. It's getting squeaky bummy here. I love I love these quizzes where like we've just completely drained ourselves out and we get to this point where like just dead air everywhere. Do I do Nathaniel, I, Nathaniel Sturridge? Nope. Do you call him Nathaniel Sturridge? Nathaniel Sturridge. <laughs> they finally uh, combined. Okay. There's and, and, and there is two former Man United strikers in this. Chicharito. They both played up front. Andy Carroll for friend of the show's football team. For Spurs. Larry Saha. Yes. Um, for Spurs, was Adabior it? Adabior is not one. So that would mean... Fulham. A friend of the show. Darren Bent. Clint Dempsey. No. Lorente. No. <laughs> and he did they, He did play for Spurs up front. Berbatov. 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 I got in, I got I in there. I got in there. got at the same time, to be honest. Ooh. Okay, oh, so right. we'll say what? We've got three each, but there's no, only... I'm, I'm no, he's on four. Oh, who'd you get? That's five, five, four now, actually. There's one more. Five, four, so right. there's one left. I'm five, four. I'm sorry. I've got very confused here. Right, I'm gonna. This <laughs> time you win. <laughs> Jesus, how has this happened? Okay, what what explain what's happened here? Uh, you got you guys have been having a great old time, but the scores have gone mad. But I, I have three names remaining. <laughs> okay, okay, are you still playing in Premier League? Uh, one is not, but is playing playing in the Champions League. One Surely. Is, no, one is a Premier, one is a Premier League legend, and one is playing in midfield for a team that R- we support. Ronaldo. <laughs> no. Steven Gerrard. Ma- no. Milner. Team that we support. Yes. Well, not me then, clearly. You yes. and I. Jordan Henderson. Van Aldum. Yes. He got four against Norwich. Oh, um, my God. Um, so, one's playing for a Champions League team. One's playing for a Champions League team. Okay. Babel. Scored it against the same team Van Aldum did. It's not Suarez. It is Suarez. It's I said Suarez. Suarez. I said Suarez. Oh, sorry. Then get and then, sorry this is just... just great time. Just having a great time. Give us the last one. Go on, one then. One left. Premier cool. League legend. If you feed him, he will score. Yak. Yak a book. <laughs> and that's it. That was a great quiz. I should have been more attentive. Jesus, too much good fun. God. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, none of them scored. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, awards here. My spoofer of the week is Premier League penises. I've seen too many Premier League penises in the last five days. Some rotten individual who shall not be named, but might be related to John. Uh, filled my eyes with dirt by selling me a video of Deli Ali, and then obviously we had. Is that that old Harry Kill group I left? And then we saw, (laughs) yeah, of course it is. And then we saw (laughs) it's no longer called that. And then we saw uh, the Huddersfield penis, the ghost penis. Who was it? It do, we don't know. The fact that you want to know makes me so happy. <laughs> I just want to know. Like, like, you want to do some, put his you want to do some me, extra like, research? Re- yeah, research has shown that it wasn't a Jewish thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Because IU got jocked the week before and he was wearing uh, cycling shorts. Okay. And this man was going full on commando on a cold day in Huddersfield. 
Um. Anyway, that's Willies. my sp- that's my spoofer of the week, uh, and thank you for playing fucking um Aubameyang on the win. So you have a spoofer of the week there, Dan. You were going to yeah, mention? I said it was Tony Henry. Oh, you went ahead. The, uh, the guy that, but I, I honestly think that West Ham thing. I think there's legs in that. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, John? Uh, well. Charlie Adam was on the uh, debate show on Sky where he said that Stoke will have to take their chances if they have to stay up, and proceeded to miss a penalty two days later. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Um, Hero of the Week. Do you remember that day he was wearing his, uh, uh, his Steve, golf Steve surface? Bruce, his dad died and his mum's in hospital. His, and yeah. he, he See him crying. He played the yeah. City Derby yeah. and won. I, th- I thought we were all going to go there, all right. With Jack Grealish uh, being married. Grealish was great. Him and, him and Snodgrass were playing class. Oh, that's championship uh, automatic promotion. Like, the teams in there, like, they're better than some of the Premier League teams. Like, they're just... What are you saying? There's championship teams that will get automatic... Like the, they're, they're, the teams going for it are okay. better than some of the crap at the bottom of the Premier League. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Who, would There's you go? With sp- will room. we all go with Steve Bruce then? Yeah. Uh. Well, Liam Miller, obviously. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's okay. And uh, goal of the week. I didn't see any um, international or fucking European goals. Uh. This but week. But Barcelona f- had their first nil nil in a year and a half. Getting a lot of draws <laughs> in. Uh, Atletico Madrid are oh, only seven never, points behind them now. Joe. Really? Yeah. Joe, we never talked about. It? Should we talk about it? Enrique to Chelsea? Is well, Conte's leaving. Does it make it all the sense in the world? The summer, though, I know, pal, but like, wouldn't it be great to have him? I, uh, well, I like finding out if these coaches there's, are there's some big co- yeah. just Rem- Remember two years ago, all the coaches did a big merry-go-round. Ma. There's a few coming through again now. There's Ancelotti's available. And Riquet's available. This Ancelotti thing. Conte's available. Um, um, do you know what's interesting, And now though? Wenger, like, if, if they leave, like, you know, there's, there's could be big guys. We, we've again. talked about Conte going since... We've talked about it, like, every other show, it seems. And but we're right. Like, but no, 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 no. What I'm saying is nobody mentioned Enrique. It's weird. It's like he just, we all forgot about him. Because he doesn't really count. Because he had like the greatest forward line in the history of football. Uh, and won and won the treble. Which don't, don't, Barcelona don't, don't, don't do just don't year. start. You know I'm what, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. No, I'm just saying like they have the asterisks. Like it, Pep Guardiola is one of the greatest coaches in the world. But still it's like, well, look at the money he spent. You know Between what I mean? Now we know. Okay, going to go to the fancy here. Danny Kilmartin in bottom place. Tommy Normal. Uh, David Gogan. We didn't get Gogan. to give our goals of the week. Oh. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm, sorry, I'm going for Aguero's fourth, but I also love uh, Firmino's flick. Uh, okay. Salah, but I'll go for Aguero's fourth. I, just, I, I love a shot that goes in off the crossbar. Sure. It I'm was amazing. To, I'm trying to find mine. It was your man for Brighton. He's got two crackers in a week. He's single handed. He's a Guerrero. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Guerrero. Cool. All right. Awesome. He's left back. He's great. Reg Sign Harrison in he's 15th. Highest, he's the highest transfer. Noel Keeley in 14th. Ron O'Reilly in 13th. Stephen Lane in 12th. Ryan O'Doherty in 11th. Shane Lahart in 10th. Myself in 9th. Regis Kerr in 8th. John 7th. Dan 6th. So Dan is in the European spots. Dave Nolte in 5th. Stephen Vincent up to 4th. Tom Eastaway, James Byrne and Adam Joyce all maintaining their places of the last two weeks. I got an angry text off Dave because he was in the top One moment, one moment, one moment, one moment. Adam Joyce has a one point lead. Wow. The gap has been closed again. Well, he so was second for a while. I was but then I was oh, only for two weeks. Apparently, some stage in fantasy, everyone's swapped from Harry Kane to Aguero and captain him this weekend. And I was like, 58 points. Good week I've had. And I checked the leagues and I was like, very poor. I week. had a terrible week. I, I, I stayed with Harry Kane. I took out Rudiger, Rudiger because he wasn't playing. Rudiger. Then, of course, he played, got a clean sheet. And I took Rudiger. out Firmino to fund Walker. Walker doesn't get a clean sheet. Firmino gets a goal and assist, and I brought on uh, someone That's shit. What was up. the angry text you got? Uh, he had a good week in fancy, so he's wondering when we were recording the show. And we were like, we got things to do. Cool. All so right. If you enjoyed the show, please. Shout out to Gary O'Connor as well. New listener, just saying. Just give him a shout out. He wants a spot, by the way, on the panel. But, you know. Well, no he dice. wants to join the, the show. Bag. Does he yeah. know how much effort we put into this? Um, Meeting up by quarterly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks very much for uh, listening, guys. If you enjoyed the show, please check us out facebook.com forward slash ITK Soccer Show at ITK Soccer Show on Twitter. And you can catch all the archived shows on YouTube, ITK Soccer Show. If you enjoyed the show, please pass on the information of it to anybody who listens to football podcasts. We do it once a week for free, and we are always delighted to have new listeners like Gary. So until please, then, please, please. Enjoy, your, uh, enjoy your week. This wasn't the creep that you ran into uh, that was also a Leeds fan, was it, that, that hung around you all night? No, I was with Gary <laughs> drinking, actually. I, wish I was. was with him <laughs> drinking. But he's definitely not the creep you were telling me about. It, no, he wasn't the creep. He was just like uh, a weirdo. Like. <laughs> so it is that guy. No, I was drinking with my mate, Gary. He was wearing a radio head. And then a, a random creep Leeds fan came up to me. 
<laughs> okay. That's all. Well, I'm a creep. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm a weird. Sorry. <laughs> see you next week. Caramel. <laughs>